I'm going to take a look now at this question, James, came from the 71271 paper in 2019, and it's all about disposal of non-current asset using T accounts. So it says there that James is a sole trader. His bookkeeper has not fully completed all the ledger entries to close the books of account for the year ended 30th of April 2019. An extract from the Statement of Financial Position at the 30th of April 2018 is shown below. So these are the opening balances that came from last year's accounts. Um, fixtures and fittings had a cost of 80,000, they had accumulated depreciation of 48,000, and they had a net book value of 32,000. So just a reminder then, the assets are on the dear side of dear clip. So the cost of the assets will always be a debit balance. The accumulated depreciation is a credit balance and plus the cost minus the accumulated depreciation gives you the net book value, which overall is a debit balance. So this is a pool of assets, fixtures and fittings, there are a number of assets in there. And it tells us that on the 23rd of April, 2019, so right near the end of James's financial year, he sold some fixtures and fittings for 14,000, okay? That's the sale proceeds, 14,000 pounds. So we're gonna to need to put those into the disposal account in a minute. And he received a check, so we know that they were debited to the bank account. Um, these fixtures and fittings had originally cost 24,000 and they had a net book value of 14,400. So we know that the sale proceeds are 14,000, okay? And that's gonna go into the bank account. We also can work out here that he's made a loss on disposal, and that's the difference between the net book value and the sale proceeds. So the net book value is 14,400, and the sale proceeds are 14,000, so the loss on disposal is 400 pounds. So that will be going off to the income statement as an expense. Now the one T account we're not given here, we're given fixtures and fittings at cost, and we're given a disposal account. We're not given the fixtures and fittings provision for depreciation. So I'm going to suggest that we draw that up. So this is going to be very rough, but this will enable us to complete the double entry, get the opening balances in um, and sort everything out with regard to the disposal. So 1st of May 2018, we've got balances brought down from last year's accounts. Remember, these are the accounts to the 30th of April 2018. So balance brought down on the fixtures and fittings at cost account. Remember, it's a debit balance because they are assets. So £80,000 in there. The accumulated depreciation, I'm just going to do a rough and ready account over here. The balance brought down would be on the credit side. Now, this is quite common in the exam. They give you two out of the three accounts that you need to try and confuse you, I think. Um, but there's always plenty of space to be able to write the, uh, the extra account. So sometimes they might give you the fixtures and fittings at cost and the depreciation account, but not the disposal account. In this example, we're missing the depreciation account. So that's the opening balances. Then we've got to sort out the disposal. So 23rd of April, we're going to take out of the 80,000, 23rd of April, I'm trying to squash this in, my electric pen, not very easy. Off to the disposal account, we're going to take the cost of the asset that was sold. So the original cost was 24,000. So we're going to credit that out of the 80,000 and we're going to bring it down into the disposal account. Okay, so that's F and F cost and that's 24,000 pounds. Okay, then we've got to do the same with the depreciation. So if the net book value is 14,400, that means that the depreciation to date on this asset has to be 9,600. So we're going to be taking that out off to the disposal account, taking it out of the 48,000, 9,600 depreciation, and popping it in to this disposal account. So F and F depreciation, debt for short, 9,600. Okay, so we've now got effectively the net book value of 14,400 transferred into the disposal account. So the next thing we need to do is deal with the sale proceeds. So again, on the 23rd of April, 2019, we would have debited the bank and we're going to credit the disposal account with the amount received, which was £14,000. And then we remember that this account needs to balance. Both sides need to be the same. Now, at the moment, this side adds up to 24000 but this side adds up to 23600 and the reason for that is that the 30th of April 2019, off to the income statement, loss on disposal, is the difference of £400. So we need to make sure that both sides add up. 
of £24,000. So it's not easy writing with this um, smart board pen in a small space. Right, so that's the disposal account balance off. It also asks us to bring any balances down on the 1st of May 2019. Well, there isn't one on the disposal account. Remember that that's going off as an expense on the income statement. We don't need to balance off the depreciation account because we're not doing, we're not calculating the depreciation for the year. But if we were doing it, we'd need to do it on the reduced balances. So we'd need to make sure that we work out the balance on the fixtures and fittings and cost account and on the depreciation account before we apply this year's depreciation. So all we've got to do, nothing else has happened on the cost account. So 30th of April 2019, the BAL CD is going to be the difference between the 80,000 and the 24,000. So that's going to be 56,000 pounds there. So now both sides add up to 80,000. And we've got a BAL BD, 1st of May 2019, as we were asked, BAL BD, £56,000. So apologies again for the scratchy writing. Hopefully you can see that that's how you answer the question. Seven marks, section A, job done. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video.